like, you know, like the Chad Daybell case going on, true crime community. Not that they'll probably see this, but I just want to make my little mark on it. Yeah, Mr. Pryor. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching and listening to the trial every day and every night at the moment. So we've waited four years. His family and the victims have waited four years because um, quite a few deaths occurred in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, and, um, yes, this group of people ended up just, like, doing in their ex, their partners, their kids, everything. It, it, we were looking for the kids for months. Anyway, and I'm walking around and I'm listening to the trial and I'm like, Mr... Oh my God, Mr. Pryor, his attorney, right, Chad's attorney. Oh my God, I'm walking around going, "Yes, you're a flipping liar, Mr. Pryor, Mr. Pryor, Mr. Pryor, you're a liar." Because we can see right through you. We've heard it all before. We've met your type before, Mr. Pryor. Yeah, and so will the jury, and so will the judge. Have faith, everyone. Justice for JJ, Tylee. It's awful, isn't it? All of them, actually. Tammy, you know, all of them, all of them. I mean, it's just horrific. It's horrific. And bless to the remaining family members that have got to live with this, all right? Bit of love. But Mr. Pryor, you're a liar. Yeah, we can see right through you. Yeah. Mr. Pryor, because you toss a, uh, you know, when you employ someone like him who's dirty tricks and corruption, confuse the trial, that'll win it. We've got no defence. Like, mountains of evidence, and every time he's like, he gets up and he's insulted the victims, the victims' siblings. He's even tried blaming an autistic boy that was killed in amongst it all. For his, he's, he's trying to go all about how his behaviour was. He was autistic, and he, yes, it, it does take a lot of work looking after a child with autism. Like they said, they need watching 24 7, just keeping them alive. I know. I am a mum of a child with autism who's now an adult. Yeah. Breaks my heart, that poor little boy. You know, they don't like being held down. That's one of the things with autism being touched, being held down, being cornered. You know, no way out. They've lost control of their own bubble. You're, in, you're impacting on their, like, little bubble. Every time you engage with them, every time you make them put their clothes on, put their shoes on, get in the car, eat some food, stop what you're doing, stop having fun. That's what it's like for a child with autism, right? So anyway... As it is, imagine, medication was taken from him, his service dog was removed and sold. he just lost his dad, who'd been shot by another member of the family, apparently self-defence, which is obviously now looking really dubious. And it was all over the place. And so she's like, there you are, look. Yeah, he's been taken over by zombies. Yeah, Mr Pryor, you're a liar. Yeah, Mr Pryor.